Hi guys, Hyperlad here, the Norwegian gamer. And this is some gameplay from Bad Company 2, where I'm actually playing some uh, Rush. Uh, as you might know or might have noticed in my gameplays, is that that I, I, I really don't play this game mode a lot. So, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a bit, uh, I have a bit of a cold. <laughs> and as you can hear, I'm talking with my friend in the background. We're, um, we're talking to each other over Skype while playing. So, um, what I really wanted to talk to you about is a, um, it's a trend that I've kind of noticed lately, which is um, developers increased focus on PCs, or rather the large developers increased focus on pleasing PC players. And I think this partly started with um, with Modern Warfare 2, where they actually started to um, where they started using uh, lobbies like on the consoles, and where uh, the players themselves hosted the lobbies that they played in instead of having dedicated servers doing the hosting of the game or matches. And some games went went out of the way saying, well, you know, we've got dedicated host uh, servers and uh, Bad Company 2 or DICE developing Bad Company 2 was one of those. You know, they said bad uh, dedicated servers FTW just to um, underline that, you know, we're devoted to dedicated servers. Uh, and it kind of continued with Black Ops, whereas uh, during the development, they were asked, are you going to support dedicated servers on PCs? They said, yes, they were. They released screenshots not long before release, showing the server browser. Just to make sure that they let that look at this, I'm feeling at the hey, disarming here, and on. suddenly I'm picking up a kit and I'm Set getting angry because I can't disarm. Cool. But luckily, right before it explodes, I managed to disarm it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm pretty relieved out after afterwards. Well, as I said, uh, Treyarch released some screenshots of the server browser right before launch just to say, you know, we know you want dedicated servers, we've got them. Everything's going to be cool. While that's not exactly true, because the dedicated servers had to be hosted by... Um, ah, what's what's their name? And I got a mail, apparently. Uh, well, they had to be... Uh, GameServers.com, isn't that it? Yeah. Uh, they had to be hosted by GameServers.com, which is, to a degree, okay. I mean, it's better than the lobby system that we had in MW2, but the problem is... You can run servers locally by yourself, you have to buy them through them. So, for me, being a Norwegian, we don't have any game server servers here in Norway. So, the closest I can get are Danish servers, and while that's not far away, that leaves for crappy connections for me. While comparing it to the BC2 servers, where I can get servers in the server browser with one ping, or one millisecond delay. while in Black Ops, I have to make do with, well, I guess to start at some 30 and something. And to me, that's not good enough. Not really. I mean, it's it's okay, it's better than NW2, but it's not good enough to be taken seriously. So, what I've kind of found lately is that developers have said, you know, we're looking into the PC side and we're going to make sure that everything is going to be the best the bees knees when it comes to the PC version of the game. We're not going to settle for something anything less than the best experience for the PC gamers. And while this may be a lot of PR and bullshit, I, I, I th still think it has some merit seeing, say, Chaos, uh, the developers behind Homefront. They've gone out of the way to say, we've looked into the PC side and we've made some adjustments to the PC version of the game just so that we make we make sure that PC gamers get the best experience possible. So you know they've got bigger servers, they've got more controls because of the diversity of the uh, PC gamers um, set up when they uh, when they game. Uh, you've got different you can both control the vehicles from a first person perspective as on consoles and in a third person perspective, which uh, you can for do for example in. 
uh, bad company too. So they're they're kind of saying, you know, you know, we're gonna cover all the bases here. And of course, they've also said that, so of course, we're supporting uh, dedicated servers because that's the best experience for PC gamers. They want their dedicated servers, and we're gonna give them them. So after that, and uh, after that, we also hear heard, heard heard from Dice that they're gonna, of course, support dedicated servers and all that good stuff. But they also said that the PC version of the game got ex uh, has is getting extra attention, and that the amount of attention it's getting is actually extreme for a Dice game. And as you might know, Dice started uh, started out their um, Battlefield series on the PC, and they've been a uh, PC developer for many years before they uh, they tried the tried their ground on um, on consoles with first Mirror's Edge and then their first self-developed uh, game engine, Frostbite, on in a Bad Company or the first Bad Company. So. As you might know, the uh, Battlefield 3 is due to release later this year, and as I said, it has gotten a lot more attention than it, that is actually usual uh, per DICE standard, and they've gone out of their way to make sure that they are not going to leave the <coughs> PC gamers in the dust, or in the dirt, or you know, they have gone out of the way to make sure. Look at this guy. I see oh, this guy swimming over here, and I'm like, shit, he's gonna reach the ladder before me. So I'm just trying to. Oh, I can stand here. And I managed to take the guy out. And I'm just laughing because. <laughs> I mean, that was a gunfight that was I was supposed to lose. I mean, seriously. He had, a, he had all the. He had the upper hand all the way. And I managed to take him out. I'm just baffled at his lack of competence in this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, so as I said, Battlefield 3 is coming out. Dice have made sure to tell us that we're really focused on the PC side of the game. We really want to make sure that the game is going to be optimal for PC players. We're not going to leave them behind. We're not going to just make a console port of the PC version of the game. That's not good enough for us. That's not good enough for PC gamers. And I'm happy. <laughs> I mean, I'm just so glad that they they kind of recognize the gripes that PC gamers have had the last couple of years over console ports on the on the PC I mean some games just smell of console port all the way from the from the moment you boot up the game and to the day you decide I don't want to play this game anymore because it's so crappy or you're moving on I mean I just hate the console Shum ports because a PC and a console is nothing alike and I uh, I might see that a port between a 360 and a PS3 <laughs> might be um, <laughs> might be plausible <laughs> or, or possible <laughs> to do without any gripes <laughs> players but not between <laughs> PC and consoles uh, the difference is just too big to oh, I'm just happy that DICE recognizes that so that's the end of the gameplay. I go 33 and 15, uh, and um, I hope to see you next time. Snuckers.